Hey everyone, it's Mario. Thanks for joining me. I was going to do a live stream of uh, cooking a steak on the grill, one of my first steaks on the grill back there, but uh, you know, I figured it would be too long, so I just decided to strap the action camera to my chest and uh, record it out that way. It will be a little shaky, so I apologize in advance for that, but uh, let's get to it. <laughs> Covering the grill for the first time. I think I'm going to do the Montreal steak. I did it the first time, I didn't put enough. And then the uh, second time, well, I put too much, I was worried. But uh, I'm just going to sprinkle some of this on there. The smell of the spice is a little strong, but the taste, it doesn't taste like it smells. I think it's a little too much. <laughs> We'll see. So what I usually do, if you think of my hand as a steak, is I'll put it on the grill for two minutes on high temperature, and then flip it for two minutes on high temperature. And then after that two minutes, I'll turn the heat down, or way down, and I'll turn it 45 degrees so it gets that extra sear line. And depending on the thickness of the steak, and these are pretty thick, four to six minutes. And then I'll flip it back over for another four to six minutes, depending. So there's a grill marks like this at 45 on both sides. All right, let's hear that sizzle. Of course, just what luck would have it, I forgot to put the pan for grills on there. Right. Check those sear lines. Turn those 45 degrees. Now we're going to turn this heat way down. And we'll be back in four to six minutes. Okay, so now we're going to flip this so the sail line is the opposite way, like that. Like that. I don't like about using this one on the grill because you have to keep pulling it out and kind of jumble the steak around, which I don't want to do. I should have brought out that thing with me. It's only showing 101. Maybe it wasn't time to flip it. Let's check this one. It's thinner. But I'm going to turn this side down a little bit because it's about 15 degrees hotter. Turn on that side a little bit more. When I first moved here, I bought like a 110, 120, 130 dollar grill. I can't remember from Home Depot. Lowe's hadn't opened yet here, around here. And the top was a thick cast. And it came with a propane tank, empty of course. And uh, that thing lasted like seven years. And the only reason why it failed was I left it outside uncovered. And when I went to clean it, I broke the igniter. And the igniter parts were expensive. I said, I'll buy a nice big, uh, you know, stainless grill. So I bought a big charbroil. That thing like lasted three years. And it was all, you know, stainless up top. But it was the, you know, black on the bottom. That didn't last. I gave it to someone who works. So I bought this one. And this is a large two burner. Unfortunately, it's too large for a two burner. Because it doesn't cook even at all. Um, now they have slightly smaller ones. Um, I don't like spending the outlay for the Weber's, but um, they last. And some people I know have 20-year-old Weber's. And anybody watching this is going to say, buy the charcoal grill, they last forever, which is true. Um, I know some people have them 20, 30 years. All right, let's check the temperature here. It needs to reach at least 145 and then continue cooking under the wrap. That's about the same. That's about 145. Turn the side up a little bit. All right, enough about that. Let's check this up again. Anyway, if you guys have any comments, I'd love to hear from you. I am by no means a professional griller. Okay, it's 145. Turn it this way. That way she doesn't see the grill marks, right? It's 
3.53 minutes, and when that beeps, I'll flip it. That way I don't have to set a timer. So, when this is done, I'll know that the steak can be uh, covered nice and piping hot. Just a sprinkle. Now, I keep the plate with all the juice from the sauce on it, so let's see how this looks. Oh, yeah. I don't know how well you can see me, because I don't know what the range of this wide I have never done like this. No mirror. Sweaty. It's warm outside today. A good steak. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.